Hello. And welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the world around you. If you were to guess how many times you breathe in a day, what number do you think that would be? In today's episode, we're going to learn about the respiratory system and how we breathe. Keep watching to the end to get the answer to this question. Humans, and many other creatures, need the respiratory system to stay alive. This is because our metabolism needs oxygen to work. Without oxygen, our cells, muscles, organs, and brain, can't function, and begin to die. So let's explore how the respiratory system works. The human respiratory system is one of the biggest in the body. The total surface area of the lungs is about the size of a tennis court. And laid end to end, the total length of all the airways is around 1,500 miles. The respiratory system is made up of parts including the nose, mouth, larynx, trachea, bronchial tubes, lungs, alveoli, diaphragm, and intercostal muscles. Let's go through each in more detail. When we breathe in, air containing oxygen passes through the nose into the nasal passage. The entrance of the nose is lots of little hairs to catch dust and pollen. The walls of the nasal passage are lined with mucus. This helps filter the air, catch germs, as well as moisten and warm up the air. This is also where sneezes come from. Because the lining has been irritated, and the body literally ejects the culprit. The clean warm air travels down the trachea towards the bronchial tubes. To prevent food and liquid entering the lungs, a small flap, called the epiglottis, opens and closes when we swallow. One of the reasons why we cough is because the body is protecting the lungs from any particles that may have gone into them. Humans have two lungs split into lobes. The left lung has three lobes, and the right lung has two, because there needs to be space for the heart. The trachea splits into two pipes called bronchi. And, like tree branches, these split more and more into smaller bronchioles that reach all the lobes of the lungs. These eventually end at little air sacs called alveoli. The scientific name for breathing is called gaseous exchange. It's when oxygen enters the blood, and carbon dioxide leaves the blood. This all happens in the alveoli. They're only one cell thick, and tiny blood vessels called capillaries surround them. These capillaries are so small, they're wide enough for only one red blood cell to fit through at a time. Oxygen is able to diffuse through the alveoli and be absorbed by the red blood cells. Carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood into the alveoli and is exhaled when we breathe out. This is why smoking is so damaging to the lungs. Cigarette smoke is full of irritants that can create thick scars. And sticky tar blocks up the alveoli. Which means the body has a hard time getting enough oxygen into the blood, and CO2 builds up. So how exactly do we breathe? If you concentrate while breathing in and out, you'll notice your ribs move a little, and so does your belly. The lungs cannot move on their own, so breathing is a mechanical process. In between our ribs, we have small muscles, called intercostal muscles. The ribs protect and support the soft and delicate lungs, but also help the lungs to expand, and contract. When the intercostal muscles contract, the ribs pull in, and downwards, and help us breathe out. When they relax, the ribs open outwards, and upwards, and create more space for us to breathe in. At the same time, at the bottom of our ribs, is a strong muscle, called the diaphragm. It serves two purposes. It separates the lung cavity, from the abdominal cavity, and it helps us breathe. When the diaphragm contracts, it pulls the bottom of the ribs together, which makes the lung cavity smaller. So air is pushed out. When the diaphragm relaxes, the lung cavity gets bigger, and we can breathe in. As you can see, the respiratory system is amazing at what it does, but it's also vulnerable to a lot of things, which is why we need to take special care of our lungs. A doctor who specializes in the respiratory system is called a pulmonologist. They can help diagnose problems such as smoking-related cancers, and diseases like emphysema and COPD. They can help treat conditions like cystic fibrosis, which causes too much mucus to build up in the lungs. Or asthma, which is when irritants cause the passageways to spasm and cause problems breathing. For other illnesses related to the respiratory system, a general practitioner can help. Did you know there are over 200 cold and flu viruses? These can cause illnesses such as bronchitis or pneumonia. Regular exercise and breathing clean air is important to keeping your lungs healthy and strong. And now for the answer you've been waiting for. An average person will breathe in and out about 22,000 times in a day. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, visit Kids Connect for fun and fact-filled worksheets on different systems of the body. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.